Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the saws and axes and especially how to get them. So this is the most highly requested video. Literally, everybody was asking me, how do you get saws and axes and what do you do? Because I always have a lot of saws and axes. And trust me, I do not do any kind of cheating or hacking. I basically play my game regularly and I do a lot of things so that I can get them. So I'm just going to be talking about the basic ways that you can easily get saws and axes in the game. So the first thing is, that, as I always say, that this game is uh, the game of time. The more time you spend on Haiti, the more benefits you get out of this game. So that's something you should remember. So I'm just going to get started. And well, basically, uh, for what purpose do we use saws and axes? They're used to cut down the dead trees and bushes. For example, you guys can see I can actually um, cut down a tree with the help of the saw. And I can cut down a bush with the help of an axe. So these are very important because... Um, the fruits, we always need to make different items in the game. We also need uh, fruits to make coins. So when our trees get dead, for example, here you guys can see we have trees. So saws and axes are very important in the game. So you should always have them. And if you don't have them, this could be a little bit challenging to manage your farm. So I'm just going to get started. Um, we're having the double XP truck event. And I'm also activating my double XP, um, the 50% the XP booster. So I'm just going to start. Um, I was sending a bunch of trucks. And let's send this one. And look at this greedy visitor asking for 190x. It's like, honestly, dude, this is illegal. Do not ask for my X's. Please go away. Yeah, so you guys never sell yourselves an X's to your visitors. Alright guys, so I'm just going to get started. I'm just going to be showing you guys the basic ways you can easily get them. So the first thing is we always know is um, the harvesting crops or you can call it weeding. So basically whenever you harvest something in the game, you get one or two items. So this could be anything. You can get any kind of tool, barn, silo, or you can also get saws and axes as well. So harvesting is probably one of the most efficient ways in the game to get items. Like, I just got, like, a dynamite and a bolt. So, if you're lucky, um, you can also get saw, R, and X as well. So, I'm just going to go ahead and plant a bunch of wheat so that I can show you guys. Um, and let me just get all wheat. I can't believe I only have 11 wheat, which is very low. So, I'm just going to go ahead and purchase some wheat so that I can... Um, oh, 10 bolts. Just going to get all that real quick all right so let's get and I'm, I'm gonna get more why is everybody selling wheat for one coin that's really cheap but i like it i can make some kind of profit out of it oh all right i'm just gonna get all of that too so harvesting is probably one of the most effective ways to get a lot of items in the game. Saws, axes, or any other thing that you need. Just make sure you go ahead and plant wheat. Um, just wait for two minutes and boom, there you go. You can get saws and axes as well. And remember one secret or one rule of the game. Because this game has a kind of a system that always gives you the tools that you have in maximum amount in your barn. For example, I have over 600 saws. Now, most of the time, I will keep getting saws. So remember that if you need something, for example, let's say you need X's, then make sure you have a lot of X's and the other tools are in low quantity. Because the higher quantity of something you have, the more you will keep getting of that. So if you want to get X's, then make sure you have more X's than any of the tools in the game, in your barn. And this way, most of the time, uh, from your game activities, you will get the X's. So this is how the game algorithm works. Like here, you guys can see I'm harvesting crops, and as a bonus, I'm getting one star. So this is brilliant. Alright guys, now I'm going to be talking about the next and probably... The one, the one very effective way to get saws and X's in the game, and this is how I get a lot of saws and X's, is by playing town, fully serving the town visitors. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you will know how much I love the most favorite place in the game, because I get so many benefits from here. I get tools, I get X, and I get coins. So there you guys, I just got an X. 
So this is my most favorite way to get a lot of tools, saws, axes, mine tools, or any kind of tools that I need in the game. So make sure to just go ahead and fully serve your townies and start working on your town as soon as possible. And then boom, there you go with lots of tools, lots of saws and axes, which is perfect. So there you guys are, so I'm getting a bunch of saws and axes. All right, just gonna collect all of these. The more townies you fully serve, the more um, items, the expansion items, the tools you get. So you guys are seeing I'm getting a saw there and some axe. Right, I'm just gonna serve these two. So that's for the town. This is my most fair way of getting the saws and axes in the game. Um, so the thing is, town is actually very effective in a sense that you don't have to do a lot of things. The townies only need about one to two of items, and then when it gets served, they will give you um, a free expansion item, which could be saw and an X2. So my, um, the town buildings are fully maxed, so I, I don't have to wait a lot because I have 40% faster service times. Now, another effective way, um, like, I won't say effective, but a good way to get saws and axes is basically from your sanctuary dock, as you guys can see right now. So what happens when the townies, they get served in the town buildings, they go to your sanctuary to have a look at the animals. And, and after looking at the animals, when they like your animals, they give you gifts and they leave their gifts here. And most of the times they also give you saws and axes because they know that you need saws and axes. I'm just gonna be collecting all my rewards so you guys can see. Um, I'm getting a brick, an axe, two axes, three axes, and a saw, which I think is cool. And look, this guy came and he's saying, enjoy this gift. Well, thank you, strong man. So I'm just gonna collect this as well. So that's it. And oh, well, there's no chest here, but most of the times you will also find a chest floating in this beach. So you just have to tap on it. And if you're lucky, you can also get a saw and axe. Like here, you guys can see that I'm getting an axe from my chest in the town. Now, another way of getting saws and eggs in the game is basically your pets. So pets are very important. Make sure you spend your vouchers on the pets. So you know, all you have to do is to feed your pets. And when they sleep, you just have to wake them up. So for example, if I'm going to wake up here and all right, just just got a bolt, which is cool. I got a tape and a nail. All right, that's a lot of XP there. You guys saw I just got a saw, which is awesome. So I got a land deed and a bolt from my dogs. Perfect. More bolts. Um, let's see what do we get from here. That's one tape, an axe, and a marker stake. Brilliant. And one tape. So, not a lot of saws and axes, but I still got a few. Just got one of each, but I got more tools. So, um, the pets basically sleep every six hours, and the doggies sleep every one hour, so you can use them, like, approximately two times a day, and you can get pretty much a lot of saws and axes. And sometimes you can also find saws and axes in your mystery boxes. Like here, you guys, so I just got one tape. And if you're lucky, you might find a saw or an axe. Like here, you guys can see that I'm getting axes from my mystery box. And this is a large mystery box, so there's chances of getting up to two to three saws from the mystery box, which is really cool. Now, another way of getting saws and axes in the game is basically by exchanging or trading the tools with your neighbors. So, for example, if any extra tools that you don't need, let's say you don't need the silo tools, you can give them to your neighbors and in exchange, you can get saws and axes from them. Um, like, if anybody has extra saws and axes, so they can give you. Or, you can simply request for saws and axes. Like, if you go in here and... Let's go down. So you can, I think, request for three of saws and axes, which is not a lot, but it does help. So for example, let's say I need saws. Um, I can simply request for three saws. And it all depends upon your neighbors. If they're generous, they can help you. So I think it's really cool. And another way, like you guys saw, my request is completed. Boom, just got three axes, which are worth three trees. You can also get saws and axes from by feeding and collecting your animals. Probably not an effective way, but Sometimes it works. So all you have to do is to collect the products from the animals and you can get an expansion item which could be anything. Lucky you can get saws and axes as well. So I'm just gonna or maybe nothing, like I can't guarantee you guys on this one. But sometimes it does work. So I'm just gonna collect my piggies. Alright, just gonna fit all my pigs there. That's perfect. And let's collect my sheep. Uh, nothing for my sheep, too. 
but I'm getting some points. Now let's come to my goats. All right, just got a marker stick, but not as one X, but don't worry, you can sometimes get them too. Oh, I hate this feature, it's really annoying. And I'm just gonna collect my chickens. There we go with this, and I'm just going to feed all my chicks, uh, my chickens, not the chicks. There's a difference, I'm just gonna be, let's make a bunch of chicken feed because I'm really low, and I'm gonna be making this one. All right, that's it. Like if I show you guys here, I collected milk from my goats, and as a bonus, I got a beautiful saw. Isn't this, I think it is. Another very great way of getting saws and axes in the game is basically by hiring Tom. Tom can be very helpful, um, especially if you're a low-level player. And even if you're not a low-level player, but you still need saws and axes, Tom is the way to go. He can bring you a lot of saws and axes in a very cheap price. So you can hire him for one day for 15 diamonds. He's not even that expensive, and I think it's totally worth it. You can get up to 100 or maybe close to 150 saws or axes um, for 15 diamonds, which I think is awesome and it, I think it's totally worth it. So Tom is one of the very best ways um, if you want Saws and Axes in the game. Like here you guys can see that Tom is bringing you Saws. So he brings two Saws, five Saws, and nine Saws. So make sure you use him for nine Saws and in this way you can get up to 100 or 150 Saws or Axes which I think is totally amazing. So Tom in my opinion is one of the very very great ways to get saws or X's if you really need them. So hi Tom, it's totally, totally worth it and I do recommend this. Now with the addition of valley, sometimes you can also get a saw and X from the valley. For example, if I'm in my valley shop, well, I'm not that lucky, I'm only getting one X, which I'm not gonna purchase because I already have a lot, but if you need them, you can get them from here as well. It's probably not a very good way because you only get like maybe one to two. And a lot of people I know don't even spend their tokens on these kind of tools, first of all, because it's not worth it. I personally use my tokens on the decorations, like ditches and trails, but if you need them, it's not that bad way. You can still get it. And most of the times in the valley, when you find a roadside surprise, which could be anything that could be an axe or a saw as well. Like here you guys can see roadside surprise. You found a surprise by the side of the road, clicked it quickly. So I just got one saw. Awesome. Now the good thing is that if you have Rose working on your farm, she basically collects all the animal products so you don't have to collect them. She also collects your tools and those tools get stored here close to the farm helper's house. So for example, you guys can see that I'm getting a lot of tools which also has two saws. So I'm just gonna collect all of that and I think it's pretty amazing. Now there are some other less common methods um, of getting the saws and axes as well, basically by watching the ticket. Uh, so you guys can see I'm getting random stuff and most of the times, or sometimes you can also get a saw and axe from here as well. Also make sure you keep looking at the paper. The chances are very low, but don't hesitate, don't be reluctant, just look at the paper, you never know your luck. Like sometimes I get so unexpected results from the paper, like I find tens of planks and tools and so many things. So it all depends on your luck. Make sure you keep looking through the paper all the time whenever it refreshes. And if you have enough gift cards, you can also ask for these packages, which are a small mystery package, the medium package, and the large package. And there are a lot of probabilities of getting saws and X's as well. For example, you guys can see there's 4.50, 75% uh, chances of winning seven saws or seven X's, which I think is pretty awesome. So you can try this as well. There are some other less common ways. One of them are like the events. So when there are global events in the game, you know that from the global events, when you complete certain tasks, you get awarded with different items. So that could be saws or X's as well. Like here, you guys can see that um, getting a saw by watching the ticket. And so this is an example of the global event. So you have to complete certain tasks and you get different thresholds. So one of the thresholds, um, as you guys can see by the arrow, you're winning seven X's. So events are a very good way to win a lot of things. So make sure when they're global events, you play them. You never know if you're lucky, you can get a lot of sales and X's from here as well. 
And another way is by playing the Derby. So if you play Derby every week, there are chances of winning a lot of Souls and Exes as well from the Derby Harsh Rewards. So for example, here I've pointed out you're getting about four Souls and two Exes, which I think is pretty awesome. So yeah, go ahead and play the Derby and win different rewards. It's totally your choice, but I think it's worth it. Alright guys, so that was all about the Saws and Xs, and in general, the more you play the game, the more items you get, so there are more chances of winning the Saws and Xs. But to be honest, in my opinion, Harvesting and Tom are the greatest ways of getting Saws and Xs.